request for us to show my recipe. I have been uh, teaching so many show my recipes in my class, but today I'm going to show you a show my recipe with a chili sauce, which I specially formulated for this tutorial. Let's get started. One half kilo ground pork, one fourth kilo pork fat diced, or you can use three fourths kilo of ground pork, which they call ordinary, which already has pork fat. One half cup cornstarch or potato starch, one tablespoon rice wine, one fourth kilo of shrimps peeled and diced, one tablespoon of ginger juice, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of sugar, one half teaspoon of white or black pepper, one tablespoon chicken powder, one teaspoon salt, 50 grams of chopped green onions, 50 grams of chopped onions, and then you need shomai wrappers. For the chili sauce, you need two tablespoons of chopped garlic, one cup of chopped green onions, one tablespoon of chopped ginger, two tablespoons of hot chilies, you can add more if you want it more spicy. One cup of oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons white or brown sugar, two tablespoons tomato or banana ketchup. You have ground pork here. Uh, I use ordinary, they call this ordinary the supermarket because it already has like almost 50% of fat. But you can also use uh, ground pork and then add fat, okay? And then you have green onions, regular onion bulb. If you want to make special shawmai, you add shrimps. If you want to keep the shawmai longer than two weeks in the freezer, do not add shrimp. And then for the seasoning, we have chicken powder. For the ginger juice, you grate the ginger and then squeeze out the juice. Black pepper sugar, salt, uh, rice wine, potato starch, and last is sesame oil. Okay. Then you mix this well. If you're making, if you want to sell this and want to Prepare a big quantity, put it inside your mixer, your KitchenAid mixer, and use the paddle attachment. Okay? If you're mixing it by hand, you mash it and do this. This is so that your shomai is firm, and when you eat it, it's what they call bouncy. After you mix this, I would say, if you're the one mixing it, you will feel that the mixture is becoming sticky. That's what you want to achieve. When that happens, you chill this for 30 minutes in the freezer before you wrap this. This is very important so that your uh, shomai wrapper will not separate from the meat when you steam, okay? The meat should be chilled. Okay, this is good. I'll put this in the freezer 30 minutes or 20 minutes, just enough for us uh, to boil the water. So we put oil. You put together oil and the spices. Don't heat the oil first, just warm the oil. Then you have garlic, we have onions. Okay, and you cook this until it starts to get light brown, okay? Once it gets light brown, then we add in our chilies. Our, and then, after two minutes, we add in our seasoning. Don't add the chilies too early because they burn quickly, all right? Once it floats and starts to brown, you immediately add the chili. Okay, and then add the sugar. You can use white, you can use brown sugar. You add soy sauce, and then we add a little ketchup. 
ketchup, I use banana. You can use tomato. And this is your chili oil or chili sauce. Okay, the, after you finish cooking, always, always remove it from the heat and then transfer it to a container so that it will not burn. Right? So we cool it here. Don't cool it in the pan because this is still very hot. It will continue to cook. Okay? Okay, that's not burnt. That's from the soy sauce. Okay, we are getting the color from the soy sauce. Alright, this is your shawmai wrapper. In the Philippines, it's square. But I know in the U.S. it's round, okay? In the Philippines, the round one is a dumpling wrapper, which is too thick. Use that for frying, okay? What I do is I just cut the ends of the square one. It doesn't have... If you want to make it round, it's fine, but you don't have to, okay? And then, this is where... We are going to put the shomai when we put it in the steamer. So you brush this with oil. Not too much oil. Just enough that it will not stick, okay? You can even get tissue paper and wipe the oil, okay? So you get one piece of the wrapper. It's up to you how much filling you want to put. Mine is two tablespoons, okay? Like this, and then cup this with your hand and do it this way. Okay, and then put it there. Again, all right, and then make sure it will stand like this. This one is an example of a uh, one ton wrapper which I did not cut, so you fold it over, okay? Your shawmai should look full, okay. Sometimes I should I see homemade shawmai that looks like this, okay? Don't make this. This is too malnourished for me, okay? So it, you have to put more. I, my students have difficulty sometimes. Can I have this one? I will show you a technique which might be helpful for you to form the shawmai, okay? You put the meat on a plate then put the wrapper like this and then push it in and you see you get it's easier right one more time but this is not how you usually make the shawmai huh? I'm just showing you another way okay see you just tuck it in and then you have a nice shawmai right okay so we'll continue with the rest if you want to put a decoration usually they put a pea a green pea uh, they put shrimps or we just put carrots instead uh, the one that they use in the Chinese in the dim sum is not really carrots it's a mixture of flour but for you know for convenience today we will just use grated carrots you don't have to do this. This is just a decoration. Let's steam this for about, um, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes. You will know when it's cooked because right now, if you touch it, it's soft. Once it's cooked, it's going to be hard. Okay? So let's put this in the uh, steamer. Arnel. All right. Okay. I have here uh, five pieces without the wrapper. I ran out of wrapper. I'll just put it here. You can use this recipe to make a uh, shopao bola bola filling, okay? Twenty minutes. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Here is our shawmai. It's already cooked. We will cool this down before we take it out of the bowl, okay? So cool it slightly, not until it's cold. Maybe uh, cool it for about 5 to 10 minutes, okay? And then we will uh, set it up with the sauce and calamansi.